It's pretty. Any news on Spider-Man 2? I'm glad you mentioned that, my friend, because that is our next order of business here. There is some news on Spider-Man 2. So first, we got to look at Venom, my friends, okay? And, whoo, boy, is looking sweet. Look at this photo of Venom. Ah, looks fantastic here. Now, I'm very excited for Spider-Man 2. I love the first game. I love Miles Morales. I think they are not only doing a good job with the mechanics of the game, making you feel fun to play Spider-Man, but the story. The story behind the Spider-Man games are also fun. I remember tearing up when, spoilers, at the end of the first Spider-Man game, Aunt May dies. I was like, oh, no, Aunt May. How could you do that? Now with them bringing in the symbiote suit, and you have Miles and, Spider and, Miles and Peter in here, uh, it's going to be fun. So with Venom, the whole mystery surrounding Venom right now is who is Venom, right? That's that's what we're wondering right here. We thought maybe it could be um, uh, Harry Osborn here because of the ending. Spider-Man ending Harry. Let's see, see. So if you remember, this was like the big ending uh, of the Spider-Man game. Norman Osborn comes into a secret lab. He looks at his son, Harry, who's dying. Can't see his willy, unfortunately. But um, probably the symbiote's covering it up. Um, uh, don't ask me why I want to see it. But uh, here it is. No, you want to see it, okay? Stop. So we have the symbiote trying to keep him alive for now because he's dying of some disease he's got. And even though we thought this was a tease that Harry would be Venom in, in the upcoming game... I don't think this is Harry Osborn for a couple of reasons. One, he's dying, okay? So I think the symbiote is actually rejecting him. It's barely keeping him alive right now in this chamber because it's got nobody else. But if you try to take him out, symbiote's not going to support him because he's like, this is a dead host. I want to find me a nice, healthy host. So that's what I think. And on top of that, with this photo, Entertainment Weekly also revealed some details, and I feel like they kind of give away who Venom is. So let me pull that up here, because I, I hate—I know people don't like the theory, but it's looking more and more likely like Peter is going to end up becoming Venom. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, and I'm kind of starting to believe it just a little more. Yeah, see, some people already saying it's Peter. Uh, some people saying it's Craven the Hunter. I'll, I'll tell you why I don't think it's Craven the Hunter. But yeah, so this article of Variety, I'm not going to read the entire thing. I'm just going to read the key things that they revealed here that the creative team on Insomniac said about uh, this version of Venom. Uh, one thing that I did want to mention that people were concerned about is because there's still been some discussion whether this Venom is alien-based or he's science-based. Because I think in the Ultimate Comics, he's not an alien. He's like a, an experiment that was created by humans. But here, uh, they, they, they do clarify. They say, say it right here. It's an alien species. So this is uh, from Alien. And I think in Miles Morales, there was a hint about NASA and some experiments that Oscorp was doing. So there will be that. But okay. So getting into it here, I want to talk about this first quote where they talk about uh, the voice of Venom. Because I think that's our first hint. So here they talk about the voice. They said, everything we talked about with Venom, that sense of strength, that sense of fear, that sense of overwhelming, so different from Peter. Tony embraces that completely in the performance. Not that caught me off guard because I was like, it wasn't a matter of Tony Todd, who's Candyman, by the way. He's the voice of Venom. Gonna, gonna probably do a great job. I'm like, why does it matter if he's a complete opposite of Peter? Unless it's Peter from the start, and he progressively turns into Venom from the game. So then we had that come in there. I was like, okay, that's interesting. Then he says, it's really interesting when you start thinking about what makes him different than Spider-Man. The symbiote is off... Oh, no, that was talking about Craven. Sorry. The symbiote is often known as an allegory for the darkness that the host is fighting against. So what makes him an anti-Spider-Man? I was like, okay, that, that sounds to me... Like, we're going down that rabbit hole there with Peter, but it was this final quote that kind of nailed it for me. Uh, here it is. It's where they talk about the darkness and what they're doing. Uh, let's see here. Here it is. So, and the story is about what happens when that darkness takes over. It's not just Peter who's impacted by the symbiote. It's the loved ones and the family around the host who has to see what's happening to that person that they love there's a lot of juicy drama that we might get from that and i felt like okay that to me makes it as clear as possible that it's going to end up being peter as venom there so if we go to like that gameplay footage from spider-man 2 i feel like there's enough hints about it becoming peter i mean i feel like there's so much foreshadowing in 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 what they do see here so like for one 
like this moment where Peter comes into frame, like that just looks so sinister and it feels like it, there's going to be more to it here. So here, Peter's about to come into the frame. Let's give it a second. Hungrier too. How was that nap foreshadowing evil Peter as Venom? And then as we continue on, we obviously see Peter gets a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more angry. Like everybody points out this part where he like just throws a freaking civilian to the freaking uh ground. Peter, have a mark so here. Tosses him to the floor. <laughs> and Miles is like, what the heck, man? He got away from us. <laughs> And then, mainly, it's this part right here. So, if you look at his eyes, look at the cornea of his eyes. I'm sounding like a conspiracy theorist right here. He's mine. Right Are here. You sure? Look at his eye line. He's got big teeth. So. You see how uh, he starts getting the little spikes around the eyes? That wasn't there before. Look at it. It was clean He's cut. Mine. Clean cut. Sure? And He's got then... big teeth. So. Right there. The little spike going on. That's what I think they're going to do. As Peter gets a little bit more darker, a little bit more vengeful, the suit will also change to match that appearance. And I think eventually this is what Peter's going to end up looking like here. Now, I know people have already brought up Chris, 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 come on, come on. But they already had the Spider-Man 2 concept art where Peter and where Miles and Peter are both fighting Venom, Chris. That can't happen. I'm like. My friends, this is just concept art. This is a misdirect. I still think we eventually have to get to the point in the game where Miles is going to beat up his mentor. Or Peter might have to beat up uh, who he's training. And that'll be really sad. And eventually the, the symbiote will come off. And maybe we'll get a new host. Or maybe the symbiote will be sentient enough where it can be by itself without a host. And got enough power from Peter. We don't know. But I feel like that is an interesting route to take. Uh, with Spider-Man 2. When I first thought about Peter becoming Venom, man, that just feels like a dumb way to like elevate Miles and make him look like the hero and put Peter in a bad place just because he's the old Spider-Man and no one's interested in him anymore. Where I'm like, I feel like there's something interesting here. Like, can you imagine when the level comes that you have to play as, as Peter Parker Venom and Miles and the game is going to let you choose who to be. You can be Venom and kick the butt out of Miles. Or you can be Miles and try your best to beat up Venom Spider-Man. That would be an interesting thing they could throw in there. Uh, for the people who are like, nah, it's going to be Craven. I don't think it'll be Craven. Just because in this version of Spider-Man, it looks like Craven is very much um, focused about being able to beat people with his own strength, with his own abilities. I think this Craven would see getting the symbiote as cheating. Like it's like it's a, it's an upper and advantage that he doesn't want because he's like, I can take anybody down with my body. I can do it myself. He putting on that symbiote, I feel like it's his way of, uh, of giving up and cheating and, and getting the higher power. So that's why I think of, uh, of that going on. Someone said maybe it's Scorpion. Scorpion has been Venom in the games. That's a possibility. Um, I just I just feel like. This storyline could be a lot more interesting. Uh, I still think we're going to have someone else be Venom by the end. But I think there's a good chance we're going to see Peter look like this at some point in the game. He gets taken off. He realizes he went too far. Goes back to being good. Then it'll attach to somebody else or, or, or whatnot. I'm not sure. But either way, I hope Venom is playable. I saw other people mention that the people behind him, all these Jeeps, those are Craven's people. So it looks like Craven's about a looks like this Venom is about to fight Craven's people, which would make it also why like I don't think it's Craven. But let me see what you guys are saying here. Imagine it's Doc Ock. That that would be some twist. That would be some twist. Eddie Brock. See, I think Eddie Brock will be kind of like the post credit scene. The same way we got the post credit scene of like Harry and Norman and all that stuff. I think once everybody gets defeated and the symbiote is no longer a threat, I think it be it goes to Eddie Brock and there's a potential for a spin off game. Where it could just be a Venom game. I mean, they gave us a, a, a solo Venom movie. I wouldn't doubt Sony to go to Insomniac and say, hey, would you be down for a, a kind of like a Venom game? Kind of like you did with Miles. And, and then we have, you know, a Venom game where we play it in San Diego. That's what I think. I don't know. Doc Connors? I don't think Dr. Connors. I don't know. 
Uh, do you think Carnage could be a DLC villain? That'd be fun. Mary Jane. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine Mary Jane? But that's the other part I'm curious about. Like, if if if, if Peter goes this far into becoming Venom, imagine the rich stories you could tell. I know we already had kind of it done with uh, Spider-Man 3 and Toby, you know, smacking MJ and whatnot at the bar. But th in this video game, they allow for more hours, more things to explore, how this could hurt his relationship with MJ, especially how it's going to hurt his relationship with Miles, because I'm not ready for those scenes. Those are the scenes that are gonna break me. When Peter is being mean to Miles, oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough to watch. You gonna cry? Heck yeah, I'm gonna cry. Uh, this game is gonna be amazing. I agree. This game is gonna be fantastic. It doesn't feel like it's Peter's first time wearing the symbiote in the gameplay. Oh no, I don't think so either. Like 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 I said in the gameplay, I feel like no, maybe that is his first time. I just feel like he's a natural. He's already been Spider Man. Now he's just got the enhanced abilities here. So, I don't know. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to end up being Peter, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. I just feel like that's where things are going, man. You know, it'd be fun to see Miles put on the suit, put the, the symbiote suit on a little bit, but I doubt it. You know, never know. Let's see what else you guys are saying. 